With news and chatter about the Oasis reunion everywhere at the moment, I wanted to make a video about the other 90s Britpop heroes, and perhaps unsung heroes, that really made this era so, so special. If this is something you enjoy, check out the other videos I've made about other songs from the Madchester era, about my Oasis Top 10 video, and the full Definitely Maybe playthrough that I did a little while ago. We've done plenty of Oasis on this YouTube channel, so let me know your favourites that are non-Oasis bands from the 90s and songs down below what makes your top 10 list. But the one I had to put at the top of my list because it's the easiest one to play on guitar, sounds great on acoustic, Richard Ashcroft plays this with no bar chords, simple open chords. This is of course Bittersweet Symphony. Bittersweet Symphony can be played with an E major to an E sus4, a D major, and then any way you like to play an A major, most popular is this way. We can also play it like this if you're more of a beginner and want an anchor finger. We just need two simple strums per chord. And you can just play along to that original recording straight away. You guys know how it goes. Cause it's a bittersweet symphony this life. We can make the strumming a bit more interesting. Kind of like the Wonderwall strumming, let's be honest. I have a full tutorial for that song and also links to chord sheet for every song I'll cover in this video and tab. The link to that page is on my website. You'll find the link for, if you're coming from YouTube uh, in the description below, right at the top. But seeing as we've got a full tutorial for that one, I'm gonna move on now and check out one of the most uplifting songs ever, never mind from the 90s. Um, this is the New Radicals, You Only Get What You Give. It starts off with simple open chords, no capo needed, a D major nine to a C major seven is the easiest way we can play that starting point. But the song really gets going from the pre-chorus, which uses an F sharp minor, B minor, A major, and different ways we can play some open chords like this G add nine. But when the night is falling, you cannot find the light You feel your dreams are dying Hold tight Such an uplifting song Don't let go You got the music in you One dance left This world is gonna pull through Full tutorial for that available on my Andy Guitar YouTube channel, but let's move on now to the electric guitar and learn some classic riffs. Girls and Boys by Blur is an absolute highlight of the Britpop era. <laughs> basically uses the chords G major, C major, F, and E flat. This iconic guitar part by Graham Coxon is super creative and really transforms this song to be super unique. I don't know another song that plays a riff in a similar fashion to this. Check this out. It does use an octave from the G root note to the octave of that G on string four, but then also plays the major third. I think Graham does this as an up strum, and then as a flick off to the minor third. Which is really fiddly to play. It then plays the same riff, but starting with a C root note at the third fret, played by the first finger. It then plays an F chord, 
Just with down and up strumming, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. But that has a flanger effect on it with a very slow rate, which sounds like this. And then we have an E flat triad, which I would play with a flattened first finger, middle finger uh, making that triangular kind of D chord shape, third finger on the major third of this chord, um, this E flat chord, which is on string four, fret five, and then goes to the open string, strings six and five, don't ring out, mute them with the thumb. That is down, with the third finger down, up, up. And just repeat that. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. Then, same shape as the F chord, but we move it to F sharp, F, and repeat. Here's another epic riff from the 90s, but one from the uh, Sheffield band Pulp. This is Disco 2000. <laughs> Love that riff. It sounds like Nirvana but on ecstasy. It's got this super grunge quality. But it's just so happy and major and with the disco bass line underneath. Just doing the octave of the F to the octave of the uh, B flat, but to play that main riff, I'm really on the brown sound setting again on the boss katana, everything up to full, and we're just flattening off this little finger and the third finger to play an F to an F sus4. The first finger is only actually pressing down to sound a note on string six. Strings one and two, I'm actually muting with that first finger, so they're not ringing out. And we're using a combination of strums and palm mutes. Exactly the same riff, but at the sixth fret position in B flat. But what does the guitar actually play in the chorus? A melody. Major scale, B flat major scale. Let's all meet up in the year 2000. Won't it be strange when we're all fully grown? Be there two o'clock by the fountain down the road. The next song on my list is another banger if you like fantastic guitar riffs. This is the Riverboat song by Ocean Color Scene. <laughs> played by the fantastic guitarist uh, Stevie Craddock and this was totally ripped off by the Arctic Monkeys with, what was it? I mean, if they didn't take inspiration from this, I don't know what happened there. It is played starting at the 7th fret on string 6, moving to frets 5 and 7 on string 5, which creates this root 
minor third and fourth intervals. The rhythm of this is very staccato, I mean it's very jagged and offbeat. So try tapping along to the song. Bam, 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 bam. Make sure you can do that. It's then the same riff from the octave of that, which is the ninth fret. So these are both B notes. Which is fret nine, seven, and nine. We're then at fret seven again, seven and five, but a string down from the E position. This is an E note at the seventh fret of string five. And then some minor pentatonic twiddles. And a wah solo, you can't get better than that, can you? Full tutorial is coming. Just request it in the comments and it'll beef it up the song list for me. But let's get on with our next choice now. This is, of course, Beautiful Ones by Suede. There's also Animal Nitrate as well. I couldn't quite get that one yet, but uh, as soon as I get that one learned, I'm doing a full tutorial for it, because it's an amazing song. And Suede were really early on the Britpop thing, so they really contributed to changing the whole Madchester thing and making it into Britpop in so many ways. It's very different era of music, and this one started anew. Guitar techniques wise, I'm in standard tuning. The original is in E flat tuning, so just take every string down uh, by half a step, so E flat tuning. We have basic open chords, C major, D7, F major 7, and then an E sus4 to E. Chorus is C major, E minor, F major, D minor, and B flat. There's a super easy way to play B flat where I'm only playing strings one, two, three, and four. Don't strum the rest, you don't have to put the bar chord there across, and other than that, you're just doing some simple picking. And then this riff on this second string, first fret, second fret, and a bend. quality song. The next song was chosen by Fuzzy Logic on the Andy Guitar Discord. There's a link to that Discord in the description below. You get it by signing up to a membership of andyguitar.co.uk. This is Slight Return by the Blue Tones. Chords of slight return by the blue tones are a D major to a D major 7, G major and A major and briefly to a B flat which can be played at the first fret using an A shape or fret 6 position uh, E shape. Pick string 2, pick string five, hammer on, and then pick string three to play the riff. Another great riff from the 90s is Paul Weller's The Changing Man. This is based around a C major chord, descending progression from C, B flat, A, and then A flat. This is a really super cool riff. The other chords in the song are a C power chord, E flat power chord at fret 6, fret 8 for an F power chord, 
and then change to root six, fourth fret, B flat power chord, full tutorial for this one coming soon. Other than that, it's some single string. Single string notes. And there's your picking pattern, string five, three, two, five, three, two, five, three. Change the bass note. That's the challenging chord, of course, but really cool. Here's another band that are unsung heroes of this Britpop era. This is Supergrass with All Right. <laughs> The main guitar part of Supergrass All Right has these little... Which is basically the Love is the Drug rhythm guitar part. It's used in a lot of other songs since then, but I think this is really like the love is a drug that I'm feeling of. That's, that's where that rhythm comes from. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. On a D major chord shape at 10, 10, and 11. And then it's flat first finger at the E minor position. But of course the best guitar part in this song is that signature solo. Which is frets 7 to 9 and then 9 on string 3, starting off at string 4. Then... And then the harmony of that... On string 2, it's... I think it, anyways, seven, eight, and then bend up eight. Really fun thing to play. But finally, we're gonna finish off with another unsung hero of the Britpop era. These guys are from Yorkshire, where I was born and bred too, or at least I believe most of them are. Uh, this is Shed Seven, and my choice is, for the best guitar parts especially, although Chasing um, Rainbows is fantastic, wonderful song, I'm choosing Disco Down because it's a quality guitar riff and such an uplifting chorus. This is great, check it out if you don't know it already. This Go Down by Shed 7. It's such a fantastic lift for the chorus from being kind of in the key of E minor for the riff. Which almost feels like a, it could be a Led Zeppelin riff or something that. The bridge, B flat to G, kind of is hinting that the actual key of the song is G rather than the relative minor of E flat. But that change to the D major, what a lift to then just go back to G. It's that five to one lift, man. You, if you perfect that, you can get such an uplifting chorus. And it doesn't get more uplifting than that. It's like I've to every single disco all around. What an uplifting thing for just the same basic chords as you know for so many other songs. If you got to this point in the video, you may enjoy these other videos that I'll leave on screen just here. The Madchester ones, more top 10 Oasis songs. Let me know which ones I missed in the comments below and check out andyguitar.co.uk for this kind of thing. I do this live every Monday, teaching songs, breaking them down entirely at your requests and then at other times, themed workshops and other guitar lessons. That's all at andyguitar.co.uk. I hope to see you over there. Bye-bye.